Okay, so a wonderful good morning everyone. So I welcome you to my YouTube channel and uh, presenting before you this tutorial is Hamper Kliman, your tutor and mentor. And to those of you that are new to my channel, just make sure that uh, you do subscribe, you hit the like button and also don't forget to share to others so that they may also be able to learn. And uh, to those of you that uh, who have a question or you have a question, you can inbox me on this uh, uh, WhatsApp line and I'll be able to respond to you in my own time. Okay, so this is a continuation to uh, a lesson that I had previously uh, posted concerning roots of quadratic equations. Now, today we are going to look at how to uh, formulate quadratic equations from given roots. Okay, so important concept. So the important concept to only know is simply this equation. The rest automatically you know. Because the equation simply states that x uh, to the power 2 minus the sum of roots multiplied by some x plus the product of roots, all this must equal 0. So in other words, we are using the roots that have been given to us in, uh, in order to come up with some other new equation. Okay, so now we have uh, some important some uh, practice questions here which I'm going to solve so that you may be able to understand what this topic is all about. It's a very simple uh, uh, topic, very simple concept. Just make sure that you grab what I will be teaching. So the quadratic equation 2x to the power 2 plus 4x minus 3 um, equals 0 has roots alpha and beta. Then they're saying we find the quadratic equation with roots 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. Okay, so the first thing to do in order for us to find this question is simply first of all to write the equation. Okay. So I'm going to write my equation, which happens to be 2x to the power 2 plus 4x minus 3. Then they are saying this must equal 0. Now, we know that our a is simply 2, our b is equal to 4, and our c is negative 3. Then we know that the summation of roots or the sum of roots is simply a negative b over a so it's going to be a 4 over 2 negative and this is going to be negative 2 then we know that the product of roots is going to be c over a which is going to happen to be negative 3 over 2 like that so these are the roots given now, we are, we are going to find the sum of roots and the product of roots that we have been given, okay? So in this case, we have this. So what we're going to do, we are going to say that we have 1 over alpha. Let's find the summation first, or let me say, let's find the product first. So multiplied by 1 over Beta. So to find the product of roots, just multiply them. Then this is going to be 1 over alpha beta. And this is going to be 1 over... Now the product of roots was um, negative 3 over 2, which is just the same as 2 over 3, negative. Like this. Then we can also find the sum of roots, which is 1 over uh, alpha plus 1 over beta. This is the sum, the sum you add. Then you find the common denominator to simply be this. This into this, it is simply beta plus alpha. The sum of roots we have already found to be negative 2. So you put negative 2 here then the product was found to be negative 3 over 2. 
So this is just the same as negative 2 over 1 uh, multiplied by 2 over 3. It's a negative. Therefore, this is going to be a 4 over 3. Okay, 4 over 3. When you reach here, when you reach here, you have found the sum of roots and the product of roots. So now what you can do, you now get that equation. The equation is simply x to the power 2 minus the sum of roots x plus product of roots then this must equal zero like this so we're going to replace so on the sum of roots we found 4 over 3 x plus on the product of roots we found um, this was negative 2 over 3 equals 0 which is just the same as uh, x to the power 2 x to the power 2 minus 4 over 3 x minus 2 over 3 equal to 0 we can find the common denominator so here there is 1 so the common denominator is going to be a 3 then equals 0 this side then we say this into this it is simply 3 x to the power 2 3x to the power 2 minus this into this is just 1 multiplied by 4 it's 4x minus this into this is just 1 1 multiplied by this and therefore we are going to have a 2 then we cross multiply and our final equation is going to be our final equation is going to be 3x to the power 2 minus 4x minus 2 equal to 0. Alright, so this is how easy these questions are. So when you look at the others, you have been given this one already. You can use the same concept that I've used step by step and automatically you'll be able to find the answer. So these are very simple questions. So I've left, I think, mo most of them for you. Do this one, you can also do this one. Then you also do this question. You send on this WhatsApp line and I'll be able to mark, I'll be able to see if what you have done is the correct thing. So this is very simple. Thank you so much.